Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGaga.com. In this video we're going to look at how we can use our own image as an icon for our macro buttons on the ribbon. So we're going to look at creating our own ribbon tab and then using our own images on there rather than the selection that are provided by Microsoft. Now let's first have a look at the macro that we want to assign to one of our icons. So if I click the developer tab and then visual basic on the far left and here it is. It's a macro that exports all of the worksheets of a file into PDFs and saves them into a folder on your directory. Now this is a macro that I've done a video on in the past and if anyone's interested I'll put a link to that video in the description of this one. So you can always check that out and how this works if you so choose. But for now, this is it. This is the macro. It's called export as PDF. And we're going to look at assigning that to one of our icons. And this is the icon that we're looking at assigning our macro to. It's a simple little kind of reporting icon that I downloaded from a site called flaticon.com. I'll put a link to that website in the description area of this video so you can check it out if you wish. But I've got loads of useful downloadable icons that will be fantastic for your macros in Excel. Okay, now to use one of our icons on the ribbon, you will need to use the custom UI editor for Office. I've got it open on my screen at the moment and I will provide a link to download it in the description of this video. So if you don't have it already, you'll be able to download that and this is where we can start creating our own ribbon tabs and our own icons within, within Office or Excel right now. Now the first thing I need to do is open up the spreadsheet that I want to create an icon for. And in this example right now, it's one that I've got called custom ribbon button and I'll open up this macro enabled spreadsheet and you'll see it on the left hand side there. Now when you open up your spreadsheet you may see some code on the right hand side straight away. I don't expect you to if you haven't done this before but it's possible. I don't so I'm going to go and insert some. I'm going to use some of their sample XML and I'm going to use this custom tab option here and I'll put a sample XML on there which I can now just adapt and tweak for my own benefits. So we can see they've got this custom tab and then a custom group within that tab and I've got the opportunity here to relabel them so I'm going to quickly do that so I can get onto the icon uh, you know give it a decent ID if you're going to look at coding this stuff you know a nice unique one uh, for a label though, something visible for us, I'll call that macros. And then for the group, maybe this is where I put all my reporting macros. So as you can label those as you choose. And now we have some sample code for the button. Now we have an ID and then we have the label itself for that button. So I could give it an ID, I could give it export PDF, so that's what we would need if we we're going to relate to it in some kind of code, which I'm not planning to. Now a label that's visible to the user, so that's a necessity and I can put some spaces in there, export as PDF. Now the image itself, I will need to delete that stuff. I also need to delete this MSO, so that was one of Microsoft's default images there, the happy face image, which I'm sure you're familiar with, it's been around for many what times, it's a, a bald yellow smiley face. <laughs> um, and I'm going to change it back to image and then put the name of my image, which I believe is analytics. Do, do, do. Let's sort out my shocking typing, uh, hyphen 72. I could have given it a better name than that, I am aware. And then the size I will leave as large and the on action, this is your macro, this is your subroutine code. 
and mine I believe was export as PDF I do hope I've got none of that wrong so the first thing I'm doing is just editing the code I could copy and paste that and tweak it for additional buttons I can copy and paste groups and tabs for additional groups and tabs easy peasy once you have this sample code on the board now another thing I need to do now is insert my icon my image into this file using the custom UI editor and I'll do that by clicking this little button up here it says insert icons that will ask me where my icon is I've saved it in the icons folder on my directory analytics-72 analytics-72 this image can be anything you download as I mentioned earlier which I've downloaded from uh, that flaticon.com website or you've created saved maybe as a PNG file um, you know, not too excessively large you may have to scale it down try and keep it under maybe 256 or 512 I wouldn't say any larger than that this is my file I'll open it up that will be visible on the left hand side this little uh, collapse and expand that icon is in there and it's been referenced let me double check my typing within my code so that is that now we need to go and check out and see what it all looks like so this is it I saved and closed that file in the custom UI editor I've reopened the custom ribbon button file and there it is on the end my macros tab as I labeled it and if I click that tab my reporting group so I provide those labels then also my export as PDF button with the, the label I provided and the icon and that button would trigger our macro I hope you found that video useful if you did please check out some of our other video tutorials on our YouTube channel or come and check us out at computergargard.com.